All right, bookstorm. It looks like it's about to rain. So hopefully that doesn't happen when I go to the park. There's too many bugs for me. Now it's starting to rain harder. Ow. Everything's wet. What is poppin' party people? Right away. Where should I? Yeah, right here. Having a little slow start to the day. Today's Monday. For me. For you, it's Tuesday. Or some point of the week. Maybe it's Monday again. Who knows? I'm feeling, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the Monday vibe and I low key am not okay with it, but I'm trying to accept that that's just the vibe today. Getting ready to go to the art store. I need to get a few things for the studio and the art store opens at 10 and it's like nine something. It's definitely not 10 yet. So waiting for that to open so I can go and grab what I need. I also wanted to head to a local bookstore to find more art books so I can grow my art book collection. But they open a little bit later. Depending on what time we get out of here, we're gonna do art store, studio, then bookstore. And have a nice little chill, cozy day. We're just gonna rock the pony today. Got all of my bags. I was also thinking of maybe going to a park and doing some watercolor or painting. I don't know, do something different. I do have to go to my studio to do a few things, but maybe after that, we'll have some fun. It's just a quick little pit stop though in the studio. It's nothing too crazy, you know? I went to go to the art store to pick up some stuff to spray over charcoal to set it for the piece that I just finished in my last video. If you haven't seen it, go check it out because I'm very happy with how that piece came out and it took a very long time to make. So I want to get some charcoal spray for that and maybe I'll find like a, an easy little acrylic palette. Ow, I just hit my finger. That's the plan for that. I'm gonna take my vitamins and stuff now and then hit the road. Quick at Jerry's Hall found the spray. I think this is it. I really hope it works. Then I got some more razor blades for my, what is it called? My like scraper thing that cleans all of my paint off of my palette. Picked up some brushes. I already have these two brushes that are the same. This one is for today to do some ink drawings. And then this little white pen. And then I found these. I don't know what they are, but they looked fun. So I also got them today and we're gonna try them out. I really, I don't know if it's like some oil or like like a color pencil thing. Yeah, so I got those, very fun. And then lastly, I got a notebook. That was my Jerry's haul. Now we're gonna go to my studio to try out this workable fixative. Just arrived. I'm gonna see if this works now, but I'm gonna test it out on like a little piece of canvas first because obviously I don't wanna ruin the piece behind me, so. Also, I'm gonna read the directions. Shake can vigorously for two minutes. Two minutes? to shake this, oh my God. Tries in 10 to 15 minutes, handle after one hour. Okay, I'm gonna use the bottom of the canvas that I cut off last week because I don't know what I'm gonna do with this long strip. We'll let that dry and then see. This is the reason why I needed to get a new brush. Like, please look at the comparison. New, old. I'm gonna test these out. Ooh. It's like, um, like a, like an oil stick. Hmm. Pretty cool. So I did one coat and like it's kind of coming off still. So I'm gonna try to spray it again, but also it's not like super prominent on the canvas. Like it's not like that dark either. I'm guessing like two coats for this and that's it. I'm just worried about this getting on the oil paint and it like messing it up. So I need like a book or something to cover. I think that'll work. 
I guess we'll just find out. All right, that's all I had to do here. Oh, this is dark. I think I'm gonna go to the bookstore and see if we can find any good books. bookstore it looks like it's about to rain so hopefully that doesn't happen when i go to the park i had a feeling they were going to be closed it says that they're open online so that is fantastic just got home i'm going to round up my little pens and stuff that I use for my sketchbook. I put my inks in here, but um, I'm just gonna put them in here. And my brushes. And the new brush I got. Just nice. What else do I need? That. And this, which hopefully it stays. Um, what else? I think that's it. I'm gonna change my shirt because it's very hot outside. Shirt is changed. I think that's about it. Got water. Let's go make some art in a park. Sounds exciting. I've never done this before. Alrighty. Well, you can't make art in a sketchbook without a sketchbook, can you? This smart little bean here forgot her sketchbook at her house. We're going to retrieve said book. Now we can go and draw. Okay, this is where I am setting up. Look how cute. I mean, it's not super cute, but like this area is perfect to paint. Found that. I have no idea what that little bridge leads to. Oh great, it's raining. Cool. Yeah, this is the weather that we're working with. It's starting to rain more, so this sucks. Maybe if I'm under this tree, it'll protect me. We'll see. Yeah, it's not that bad. There's a lot of bugs here, so that's great. There's a truck behind me. Cool. All right, so I think I might do this little bridge right here. And, oh my God, what the f is that? There's too many bugs for me. Now it's starting to rain harder. Ow, eh. ah. A raindrop fell on my paper. I think I'm going to, it's just raining on me right now. Oh my God, I cannot. Okay, I'm just gonna shut up and watch me paint and stuff. Okay, it's literally full blown raining. So I'm gonna finish this at home and paint in my backyard. And also there's a car that keeps circling around and scaring me. Everything's wet. Also, maybe it's not a good idea to be alone at a park that's like kind of secluded. You know, I wanted to do something different, but the universe was like, stay in your studio, please. Hopefully we can salvage this. Now it's literally pouring. Oh, there's a tiny grasshopper on me. Uh. Uh. Well, we're back outside at my house. We're gonna try to attempt to do this again. It literally started pouring on me and I was sitting under a tree, so it wasn't bad at first. It was drizzling, then it started getting harder and then all of a sudden like giant raindrops started falling on my paper and my notebook got soaked. This is attempt number two and I'm gonna try to finish this from what I remember of what the place looked like. And then I'm probably gonna paint something around here. It's unfortunate because I really like that spot, but so sorry to interrupt the aesthetic uh, vibe. So we're gonna get back into that now. I think with the type of art that I do, it's very important to get out of the studio sometimes and 
and play. I feel like whenever I play, I kind of let my inner child come out and it allows me to kind of do new things that I wouldn't have thought I would do um, in art. So I allow myself to kind of explore and take the time to relax, sit back and not take art and creativity so seriously sometimes. Ta-da! She's finished. Let's do something else. What can we paint? Paint this tree right here behind me. It's a fun looking tree. I'm just gonna do it on this side where there's markings from my last page. These birds are going crazy today. All right, just finished the tree. Really like how she came out. I used to use like India ink when I was taking my drawing class during COVID and I started using it a little bit more um, after one of our assignments and then I forgot it existed. So picking it back up is really nice. I kind of forgot how to work with the medium, but it's pretty simple and easy. And it just took me a little bit of time to get back in the groove of it, but this, this is my first page, second. It's not perfect, but I think that's what makes it nice. I thought about maybe adding color to it, but I don't think it needs it. Let's keep going. I think I'm gonna paint another tree, maybe like my backyard setting, that little tree, and then this little area. Backyard complete. And of course now it's getting sunnier outside. So I just did, this is the first that you saw before. Second page. Um, I'm happier with the second one. I like how I did the tree. I feel like I did it a little bit better than this. Yeah, uh, this is cool. I think I might do one more page, call it a day. And I think I'm going to do this giant tree, another tree. I feel like I kind of got the trees down, so. This tree has a lot of layers to it, so this is gonna be interesting. Fairly large tree. And I'm gonna do the roof of my house as well, just to add it in there. This is all like bushes. Okay, last one complete. I forgot that my house had a window. Included it after. Might have to go back in with like the darker pigment to like kind of make it more pronounced, but here's the final product of the last tree that we painted. Here's the other one and our first one. 
I'm gonna pick up and go inside, hang out. But I think that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and go watch my other videos, check them out. Hope you guys enjoyed this chill little art day. Something different. It's always good to get out of your studio and go do something else for change. I'll see you guys on Friday with a new video and a new painting, which is very exciting. So, all right, goodbye.